Hello guys and welcome back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. Once again I'm Greg and this is the Starting Eleven show where I'll give you a bit of injury news as well as my predicted starting lineup for our game. This week we have a midweek fixture against Leicester. Um, now these Starting Eleven shows have been a little all over the place recently. Ancelotti tinkers a lot, seem to be tinkering a lot, especially with injuries as of late. Uh, but it looks like after playing Chelsea that tinkering's paid off and he's found a, a system that kind of works. Uh, he's gone from his five at the back uh, to pretty much just playing four flat centre-backs, but relying on Holgate's experience as a right back at West Brom and Ben Gibson just being able to to seem to be placed in any position and thrive. So very much early on here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no big surprises. Uh, I'm going to go with the exact same team, but uh, that doesn't stop us going through talking position by position and sort of having a conversation about what could maybe should change um, and the giveaway there also is that there's been no new injury news in terms of players coming back Delph, Coleman, Luca Dean, James all still out some of them we know time frames for some of them we don't uh, and a player we have had a bit of clarity on the time frame for is Gabamin who's apparently going to be in Finch Farm and looking into the new year could start to, to be ready for contention and I think that could be very important for us in terms of um, shifting some centre backs, uh, centre backs, sorry, central midfielders in January, uh, who we won't need anymore, who will be excess with Gabamin in, and giving Allen a bit of um, a bit of a rest as we go through quite a heavy festive period, I imagine. Um, so that being said, let's look at the team. Um, in fact, beforehand, just a general chat about that back line. I reckon we stay with the same team, the same formation, because. I reckon we're going to face quite a similar challenge. I think we're going to be happy against Leicester to give up the lion's share of possession um, and just defend for our lives. And, and that's what those boys all did out there um, against Chelsea. Every single player on the pitch seemed to know their discipline, seemed to know their role. And and for, for it's, it's miraculous, really. The same personnel who have been playing week in, week out, and, and we've been saying, oh, we, we can't keep a clean sheet, we can't defend... Individual errors. There's no unity in that back line. A little change of shape. Uh, I don't know what Ancelotti's saying to them. Uh, a little change of shape. A change of who's playing next to each other. And suddenly, you know, they, that looked like a world-beating set of defenders. And you think, you, I mean, I'm having a conversation with myself thinking, when Dean and Coleman are back, who are the two centre-backs we play? Gibson um, has made it look like he's one of our better players. Uh, Mason Holgate. Ended last season so strongly, played very well at right back. Uh, maybe he's an answer to, to slowly phasing Coleman out of the team. And, and Holgate just becomes a right back from now and I'm not sure. Um, Michael Keane obviously is, or has been putting in stellar performances for a while now. And Yeri Mina played the best game I think I've ever seen him play in an Everton shirt. He was commanding, he was strong, he was strong aerially. You know, everything we bought Yeri Mina into being and assumed he could be. So... Having that conversation now after a game where we've kept a clean sheet, the second clean sheet of the season seems confusing after we've played so many bad defensive games. If you understand what I'm going for here, um, but yeah, if this, if this shape's were if this shape is working, keep it the same because, as I said, I think we're not going to uh, have too much possession here, and I think we're going to be asked to answer a lot of the same questions, uh, long balls. Whereas uh, for, for Chelsea, they were they were balls in looking for Giroud. Um, I think we're going to see lots of long balls over the top, um, looking for Vardy, where we are more exposed. I, th I think we're a lot better um, coming from either set pieces or or crossing from open players. We are long balls over the top. I've seen quite a few go over Michael Keane or Yeremina's heads. But the added pace of Gibson and Holgate should mitigate that in some, in some way, shape or form. So, yeah, I imagine ma many of the same challenges to keep the same team. So, going in, Jordan Pickford in goal. Um, I can't think of anything too difficult yet to do against Chelsea, but I, that might be escaping my mind. Um, for me, it's just a, a no contesting goal at the moment. I, I'll have to come back to you when when he's made another big mistake or if Olsen has some cup games and, and really outplays himself. Uh, back line, of course, then will be Mason Holgate at right back, who was um, a breath of fresh air. <laughs> After what we've been seeing going on with the sort of wing backs for a while, you know, Awobi did well, but he's not, um, you know, he's not he's not a right back. So, so to see Holgate there, very good, very happy. Two centre backs, of course, will be Michael Keane and Yerry Mina. 
who seem to just have an understanding against Chelsea that I've never looked at those two and thought natural partnership but you know you're seeing uh, balls come in one of them head it away and, and they're looking at each other they're celebrating you think that's the kind of like you know fire you need to fire each other up as two centre backs you need to be on the same page uh, and you need to just both be you know getting angry getting passionate about what the other person's doing and I finally saw that between them some communication some some energy left back of course at the moment it's got to be Gibson so so impressed with the guy um I thought when we bought him in as a centre back, I didn't realise he was so adaptable. But I, I thought surplus to requirements. Um, are we going to need him with, with sort of the stack deck? We had uh, Branthwaite coming through at the time when we signed him. Um, I wanted to see Gibson start to get some first team minutes, but uh, obviously with with Gibson, Gibson loaned out to Reading. Have I made that up? I think he's loaned out to Reading. Uh, Branthwaite getting that injury. Gibson's been important, and now especially with our fullbacks. Wow, he is he is really stepped up. I thought he played an incredible game uh, against Chelsea. I know he had that one rough game playing out. I think it was against Southampton, maybe Newcastle. Um, but but yeah, keep him there because because that's fantastic. And and I would at this point make my first. Could we could we put Nkunku there? Personally, and I'm a big advocate for Nkunku. And when we played Delph out there, my first thought was get Delph out, put Nkunku in. Um, but I'm not so confident making that assertion when it's Gibson in the firing line because why take Gibson out when he had such a strong performance? Um, midfield, of course, will be Decore. Maybe a little bit limited in what he can do going forward in this formation. He doesn't quite have the cover that we, when we had the back five. But we still did see him getting forward. Uh, he's he's got legs. He really does. Ninetieth minute, we need to get the ball in the corner. We we were seeing players like um, Gibson and Holgate, you know, just just take, bombing up the channel and getting to the corner. But you were also seeing Decore just after so much time in that midfield, running around, uh, covering, covering, uh, especially covering the right side. Just to have the legs after ninety minutes, just to be running and supporting every attack. Fantastic. Next to him, Alan, who I said in the last video, uh, I think I said Alan needs to step up. He's he's been off off the shade. He looks um, he's making mistakes, and I, I'm I'm gonna tell myself that he watched this video and, and looked at himself in the mirror and said, you know, Alan, Greg Greg's disappointed. So so you do need to step up, um, and he did step up. What a fantastic performance again! Um, it's the Alan we saw against Spurs. It's the Alan we saw against Palace earlier in the season. Shirt tucked in, shouting at players after he's tackled them, just just making a menace of himself. Just just someone you you mentally can't get past. You, before they've even taken the ball off you, you just know, oh, this is going to be a challenge get, getting through here. Uh, and he was also playing some nice out balls. <sighs> Didn't think I'd say this. In front of them, based on merit, and I, I've got to be fair here because, you know, I've given Gomez the position based on merit before. Uh, it's a position where maybe we're still waiting for a standout player to, to come and um, grip the, the sort of number 10 and say, stop rotating it round. It's, it, you know, it's my position. Uh, but but I'm going to give it to Gilfie Sigurdsson for, for what was a really, really strong performance. He... Um, he got a goal, of course. He he seemed to. I think he created more chances than any Everton player has in a single match for a long time. So, so fair play to him. Keep him in and see if he can keep the form up. Out on the right, a Wobi, but it's a lack of options really. Um, if he can get his crossing good, he's getting in positions. He's beating players, fantastic. But he really needs to sort out the the quality of his delivery. And I know he can do it because for Arsenal, I saw him put good balls in. But um, yeah, sort that out. Fantastic. Out on the left. Richarlison, um, maybe a conversation for another video, but um, it looked like his head was going, he gets a bit angry, he gets a bit down, uh, I'm not going to say he's, he spends too much time on the floor, but um, I'd like to see him, him just lift his head up and, and return to the way he, he, he's been, you know, we, we know he's a fantastic player for us, he's just in a bit of a rut. Up front, of course, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. What is what? What else is there to say? Uh, so that's my team, guys: Pickford, Holgate, Keen, Mina, Gibson, Decore, Alan, Sigurdsson, Awobi, Calvert, Lewin, and Richarlison. What do you think? Would you change things from last week? And Kunku in, Gomez in. Um, would you like to see Gordon? Uh, maybe Richarlison just needs a break. Take him off for a while. Put Gordon in. Um, just let me know your team, guys. Let's hope we can keep this form up. Again, I think it's going to be a similar challenge. So let's hope we respond in a similar way. Cheers, guys. I will see you next time.